Hi folks and welcome to the garden. This is a review for growing Chijimi Sai in the Southwest Desert Garden. We're, we are in U.S. Hardiness Zone 8B. And uh, before I take you over and show you the plant, I'm going to show you the seed packet for a minute. Okay, there we go. Chijimi Sai. And this is what I wanted to show you. Frost hardy? No. And here we are in January. We've had lots of frosts and freezes. And um, for some reason, this plant is still going in my garden. It's small, but it, it hasn't keeled over. So I got to show this to you. There's minimal bug damage with this fall planting. Look at this first one. No bug holes. This one. Oh, maybe. Ah, maybe a minuscule bug hole right there. And then this one's got more. I'm just going to take these off because my chickens will love a treat. There we go. Some bug damage. I'm going to take this one that looks a little older. You see the difference between an older leaf and the newer ones coming out? It's handling the cold weather just fine. And I'm not sure why. Because the package says this is not a cold tolerant plant. Frost hardy? No. <laughs> so here we go. Some of these leaves are going to go to the chickens. Oh, he, did you hear your name? The chickens? Are you going to get some? Where? Huh? There's chamomile and zinnia. They're waiting for their treat. They love scraps from the garden. So if ever you find something, you're going, ah, it's a little buggy for me. Give it to your chickens. Okay. I'm going to take this one too. And this one. How's this plant doing? That's not bad. I'm going to take this. Other than that, the leaves are looking pretty good. Okay, I'm going to give a treat to our chickens. And then I'll give you some notes on flavor. Hi, birds. You want some of this? I think a good way to talk about the flavor of Chijimi Sai is to use, say, spinach as a springboard for the conversation and just say that um, this leaf is thinner and more flexible than a spinach leaf just enough so that when you cook with it this wilts more than a spinach leaf does um, and then as far as taste goes um, similar to a spinach but maybe slightly more on a on the with grassy notes <laughs> if i don't know that doesn't really sing the praises sometimes of a leafy vegetable to say it's grassy but it's it's spinachy flavor but just a little different than a spinach and then um, uh, another texture note aside from being thin it's a little slicker and that does leave a little slickness on your tongue it's not gummy or goopy or whatever it's not that it's just you it's noticeable um, and then um, lastly it left a very small, minimal, minuscule, almost don't want to mention it because I don't want to put anybody off, but um, a tiny bit of bitterness on the back of the tongue. So, um, and then I've eaten it raw and I've eaten it cooked and it really, really wilted down when cooked. And so I think where that would shine, I haven't done it yet, but I'm thinking about Asian soups. Um, if you remember the old style of going to restaurants not the fast food um, Chinese food that we get sometimes but um, if you remember 
sitting down to eat at a Chinese restaurant, you would always get served a, a bowl of soup first. I haven't done that in a long time, but um, but if you remember that experience, if you've had that experience and you remember it, they always come out with a bowl of soup first, and there's um, something green and wilty in the broth. This would be really good for that. So um, decent flavor. Well, even if I would favor spinach more. Um, good enough flavor and growing well enough in the Southwest Desert Garden. So if this is something you wanted to add to, to your diet and you are a grower out in the desert, uh, you could do that. Anyway, happy gardening. <laughs>